Hi everyone, this is Afri. You are welcome to this presentation. I will start right here in the previous lesson in the modeling of the water tank stand carrier, just like this. In this presentation, we will be considering load applications, running analysis, and as well as design of the Still structural element of this uh, water stand. Alright, so straight away we will be going into the lesson. Alright, so at first I want us to remove most of the secondary beams. Because uh, it may cause analysis not to be successful. Actually, the beam intersect each other. You can see it, this one intersect this one, and it will interrupt analysis. So what we need to do is uh, we we need to delete them off and then leave these primary beams. All right. So I want to be doing that now. Okay. So I, I like this one. I don't want this one. Click on the delete right there. Click on OK to rule that. Put the same thing there. You will leave that button there to rule that. And then for this one, I will align that, hold the control key down, and make sure I select all these other intersect each other. And then after which I'll click on the delete right there. Right, just like this. And as well for this one. I'll remove that one also. Alright. I'll do the same thing here. And then I will delete that. Okay, so this is what we'll be having. All right, I will be running analysis based on this. So at first, I will want to be applying loads. Okay, so I will go straight away to the load tab, this one, and I'll go to load cases. All right. So having this dialog like this, I will delete the service load because I don't have use for that now. Okay. I will have an input load, this one, okay, and I'll go to the load combination, I will add one combination, double click on that one combination to have this same weight of slab, we don't have slab in this structure, take it to this other side, and then take this one in, the same weight of this structure and the input load, just like this, after which you click on the OK button, Right, so they will come straight away to start uh, adding value values to the load. You come to the load list here. Yeah? This one, this place, click right there in the, in the drop down menu of the load list. You want to select the impose load right there, and then we'll be considering area load. You click right there, and in this provision. We'll be considering 25 colonity parameter squares as the area load. All right, zoom closely to apply the load, but by then we need to apply a, a kind of a roof panel on the structure before we proceed to apply the load. All right, so we will straight away click on the model tab and then roof panel. That, that, that one pick the first point second point third point and the fifth point that one okay so this is the root panel all right after applying that you do escape and again activate the load list the impose loads and go straight away to the load tab and activate the area load now you can give it the 25 kilometer per meter square 
I said that you can click on the on the arrow panel to insert the load just like this. All right. That is the impulse load. Okay. Then the dead load. We will be considering one point seven for the dead load, just like that. And we we'll also apply that right there. Okay. All right. So having all this load applied like this successfully, what you just need to do is I want to activate the show process. I'm just trying to do it to validate the structure. All right. So after having this structure validated successfully, I'll close this show process, go back to the structure, and then I want to change this uh, support from P to fix support. So I will select all the support, click the first one with the control key, and then be able to select all of the support just like this after which we are having moment free moment we need to fix the moment all right we are considering this level to be the foundation level so we need to fix the moment right there just like that so having that fixed successfully we will go straight away to save this project click on the save right so we want to be carrying out the analysis and design of this project now i wanted to take note of some things if you check the steel station you can see the section of the steel station you can see 250 by 250 by 73 all right while for this one is 178 by 102 which is the beam okay so i think taking note of that let's see the way the program will react to these structures structural uh, elements and their sections. So for us to do the analysis now, I want us to place the uh, structure in this position. In uh, the class structural design, there are various uh, way of uh, doing analysis. And as first, uh, if I should come to the analysis tab, and I should use the design state statics, and uh, let's see how it reacts, if it will actually work out. Okay, so if you click right there, design steel, you give the program some seconds to complete this process. All right, so you can see we have 142 others. Okay, then the number of section that pass is a zero, you can see, but the section is not actually failed, but the section uh, is not designed. Okay. So we want to use another way to of designing, analyzing and designing the sections by uh, individually or by selection. All right. So how do you do that? You will position the structure at this angle, highlight all of this, having gotten the structure highlighted successfully just like this what you just need to do is you right click right so once you right click you go to design selection and you go to static you click right there give the program some seconds to process the analysis and design so right so you can see now that uh, uh, the numbers of pass structural element is 142. So if I should deselect the selections now, you can see that all this this structure has been designed successfully. How do you know that if you uh, hover over this uh, extension, you can see the selected section there. You can see 150 by 150 by 23. Originally it was 254, meaning this has been designed and selected successfully. All right. Also, if you check the beam right there, this beam right there is 203. Originally, it was 170, uh, 178. Uh, okay, it was 178. Now it is 203. So it has been designed successfully. All right. So the analysis and design is done on this structure successfully. All right. So this is how 
you can be able to apply load or analysis and design the structural the state element of this water start successfully okay so i want to actually bring the uh, lesson to a stop here stay tuned like the lesson and subscribe see you in the next lesson if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment sections and we will look at the question successfully bye for now